Good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to this channel. The channel is about promoting the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, end times news and prophecy mostly fulfilled this day. Scripture of the day, you know how I love that. I've done it for the most time, to be honest with you. And today is 1 John 2, 15 to 16. Oh, not loving the world, okay? Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world... Love for the Father is not in them. Mm. Mm. For everything in the world, the lust, the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Three good examples to, the, to get, be getting on with until tomorrow, until the sin starts again. But anyway, let's have a look at the news. Okay, tonight, looking at video shows Hong Kong police firing live rounds as demonstrators in Sai Wan. Okay, let's have a look at this. <laughs> In all fairness, I think they've had enough. That was the Guardian, by the way. That came from the Guardian. They've had enough of the right. It's protesting. You cannot protest about the changes that's going to happen because they're going to happen. End of. Oh, right. Independent, this is from. The Independent says the Yemen war is about to come to an end as Saudi official admit this week for the first time since 2016 that Radak is in talks with Houthi rebels, Houthi rebels. Uh, the talks have sufficed, sufficed despite... The I've surfaced despite I'm not getting my words out tonight. Surfaced despite the Houthis being in charge of the capital Sana, the other most populous parts of northern Yemen, which indicates that the Sudis are coming to terms with the status quo. The radical approach of effectively flushing the Houthis out of the north has been abandoned, and the new approach of accepting the Houthis. As part of the new the, the new post-war reality in Yemen, on the other hand, is much more sophisticated. Things are changing. That's all I can say there. I, I, this is wars and rumours of wars. This is the beginning, um, the, the sabre-rattling of the end times. The end times are here. They're about to approach, and there's no getting out of it. What we've started, we wish we hadn't. And it's good to see here, here in Britain... Boris Johnson, Olive Branch to Nigel Farage, PM rules out extending the Brexit transition period beyond 2020. Excuse my notifications. Amid pressure on Brexit party leader to pull most of his candidates out of election to avoid splitting the vote. Mr Johnson said we will not extend transition period beyond the end of 2020. Brexit party on course to contest every seat across England and Scotland and Wales. Nigel Farage offered Boris Johnson a leave alliance, but the PM rejected peace. Mr Farage expected to target leave voting seats at election on December the 12th. So it's all happening over here. You know, I don't know where we sit in the UK at the moment. It's a bit abandoned. We haven't got the um, power uh, the the might in our military anymore like we used to have uh, I don't think we we rest quite easily on it um, these days we we just I'm not I've not been spending money on protection we need to retract to our own shores and just watch the missiles come in but this next one shows a prophecy being fulfilled consistently now the Roman Catholic Church is celebrating a gay pride masses. It's apostasy. It's not what it says in the Bible. I'm sorry if you are gay. God loves you just the same, and we do too. It's just like us. You've got to get rid of the things that sin. And the things. one thing is buggery is not in the Bible. So uh, the buggery is, is in the Bible is a sin. 
quite a big one. Not that there's a big sin and a small sin, but there is. And we've, realistically speaking, if we want eternal life, the only way to get it is through the Lord Jesus Christ, who is in the Bible. The Word is him and through him. We have to come through the Word in sin to confess these sins and move on. Now, if you're wondering about um, this, I have or had a few years ago, many years ago, a Eurovision Song Contest contestant as a friend. Now, that's quite a biggie, and he was gay, out and out gay, you know. Now, he accepted Christ, turned from gay, got married, and is a pastor. So you can do it, and you've got to do it. It doesn't have to happen all at once, but you've got to have the heart to change, to want to. That's when Jesus will come in. So confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and change your mind. But Catholic dioceses in the United Kingdom have begun to host LGBTQ pride masses events designed to welcome homosexuals into the church and combine gay pride with the Orchrist and other Romish sacraments. So... I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to say no more on that, to be honest with you. That's just the way it is. It's prophecy being fulfilled. It is everything the Bible says. We have to turn from these things if we want to be saved and have eternal life. By the way, we all have eternal life. We all have eternal life. Where we spend it is what matters. Do we spend it in heaven or hell? If you think it's a myth, then you're not going to think it's a myth shortly because the tribulation is knocking on the door. But I'm not going to be here. Me and the brothers and sisters are going to be gone in the rapture. And I say that maybe with pride, and I repent of that. But lest I boast, may I boast in God, okay? <clears throat> and I boast in God. He has saved me. I owe him. Oh, I, I can't, I don't know how much I owe him, but I'll never pay him. That's all I can say. But taken leave of the census, Scots face a baffling list of 21 sexualities to choose from in the 2021 census, including geniophilic and skiliosexual. No idea what they are. Uh, how many ways can you have sex? I don't know. I forgot to turn my lighting on. So it's on now. Maybe my face is a bit... Make up. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, and it's only Monday. But Barmy officials have drawn up a baffling list of 21 sexualities for Scots to choose from in the 2021 census. And her face says it all. Civil servants said terms including skiliosexual, geniophilic, and demiromantic will be understood. Mm. But Edinburgh Uni's Dr. Kath Murray said the huge list could blur Data and census chiefs faced ridicule tonight after putting forward the mammoth sexuality choice in Scotland's population. Now, you know, the world will be what it'll be, and it's always been insane. And that's why we're going through what we're going through, going through what we are going through. That's why there is a hell, because we just will not listen. I'm sorry, but there's only one way to put this right, and it is in the book. It is in the book. The Holy Bible. There's the workshop manual to success. And it's it's here. If you abide by it, had we have abided by this as it was being writ over the thousands of years, as God gave us new things to do and listened to him and followed him, we would have been in a different world. That world is going to happen again after a tribulation period of seven years. That's going to be the millennium where we're going to be under another dispensation for a thousand years while Jesus cleans this mess up because he's coming on the Mount of Olives. It's called his second coming. The rapture isn't his second coming. We will go to meet him in the clouds. Okay, something fishy with this human face creeps people out after being spotted in a lake in China. Okay, and I must confess it is creepy. We don't know what's going on because I know the uh, giant demonics that live under the ground and probably in lakes. We, we've seen them occasionally. They've been recorded all the way through every culture's history. Um, it's not It's not a myth. It's a fact. And whether they live in the sea, but this, and, and mix the DNA. You see, the DNA is is what 
our perfect DNA from the royal line of David and so on, Abraham, and so on and so forth, he tried to disturb that. I'm not 100% sure why, but he tried to spoil everything that God had created so that the DNA was... So the mixed genes is now creating a thing. But this is... Just have a look at this. That's human. That's human, isn't it? That is human, brothers and sisters. That's human. <laughs> That's a human face anyway. So what is this creature, this fish, going through if it is being crossed over and it's someone's mucking about with DNA? Now, the only person that really instigates mucking about with DNA is the satanic movements. Um, I mean, not the satanic earthly people uh, that choose to turn to Satan. I'm talking about the real business who really wants to spoil God's DNA, but we'll not go into that. Right now, we will be looking at the news. We are looking, our insight is to look at the news that represents the prophecy. That's what we're trying to do and bring it all together. Why are we looking? Because we're all looking, really hoping that rapture is going to happen tomorrow. If you want to be raptured, if you want to be on the train, the Jesus train, let's put it in a, into a song, maybe I'll write one. If you want to be saved, seriously, then confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and then repent, change your mind and start following him. Whether you're whatever faith, religion, creed, colour of skin, sexuality, you can change your mind and follow Jesus and the Holy Spirit will come in and he will be with you and guide you into change. He will convict you into doing things or not doing things that you were doing. That's what happened to me. You're looking at someone who was massively imperfect and he chose me out of a absolutely non-believing family. I was the last of a total of eight people, including my mother and father, in my family. I was the only one who accepted Jesus Christ and I didn't have a problem and I definitely wasn't perfect. And never will be perfect. That's the message. You won't be perfect. For God, for all have sinned and fallen short of God's glorious. So on, so forth. Um, Grace. But um, staying on this theme, really, uh, YouTube banned this doctor, doctor's video. Here's why. Now, she doesn't say it, fortunately, because if I played it, I'd be banned. So why? The, according to most mainstream medical organizations. You're transgender. On YouTube, you're never going to hear that sentence from Dr. Michelle Cretella. YouTube recently removed this Daily Signal video because of one sentence Dr. Cretella, a pediatrician and executive director of the American College of Pediatricians, said about transgender issues in children. YouTube told the Daily Signal that Dr. Cretella's remark violated a YouTube speech policy. That policy states, hate speech is not allowed on YouTube. We remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any of the following attributes. And among the list of attributes are gender identity and sex slash gender. Now let's be clear. By any objective measure, Dr. Cretella did not violate that policy. We agree with the spirit of the YouTube policy, that every person should be treated with respect and that every conversation should be civil. But here's where we disagree. As our nation debates the whole issue of gender identity and parents consider whether to give their children hormone treatments, we need to have a robust, fact-filled, serious debate. Shouldn't parents have all the information mm. they need, especially when it comes to life-altering medical decisions for their children? And who better to have that debate than our doctors? Dr. Cretella's uncensored voice should be part of this debate. YouTube has the right, as a private company, to have its own set of rules. But we hope that eventually, YouTube will realize on an issue this important it's crucial to let a variety of ideological perspectives speak freely. Because and 
it it is, but this is the this is what's happening. We're in a plan, and a plan is to put the world right. We've accepted and are accepting daily in our social media, in our walks of life, in our schools. We're accepting things that were adorant. If you don't believe it was adorant, then go back to Sodom in the Bible. Three walked away. Three Only three walked away. Lot and his two daughters walked away. God wrote it off. Wrote it off. Hail and thunder, boom. Got rid of it. For sodomy and the adorant way it was living, and it is still, it's now happening in a tidal wave, a tidal flow. Come on, whatever you believe in, whatever you are, whatever sexuality are, you know that it's gaining success in your eyes. Well, it's not. It's killing you. It's sending you to hell. But you can change. You can change. I, I, I do apologize for banging on about it because I care about you. I care about every human being, whether they hate me or like me. It's not God's will that anyone should perish. And we're told as Christians to love not to hate. The world will hate you for, for different reasons. But Christians will love you as a person. They'll hate your sin, as indeed you would hate mine if I sat down and wrote them all out. But we love you. And if you loved us back, we could make changes. But I'll leave you on that. Oh, that's the end of the news. Um, just there is a lot of gay G, uh, LGBTQ the stuff now because it is escalating. So this is what's coming up in the news. I just thank the Intel for um, continually keeping this channel alive in the news section of this channel. Um, I'd be lost, totally lost, and not able to keep up doing a full-time job and coming home straight away and doing these at my five o'clock, uh, getting them taped and spending an hour or two getting them out. So a really big thank you to the Intel and the translators who are doing a great job in the background with Spanish and Portuguese. Um, if you're a span and, and if you have another language, join the channel because the more languages we have, the more multinational we are. We are going out all over the world. We are, have around about forty to 50,000 views a month, which isn't mega in the YouTube world, but that's people who need to know the fresh news the uncut news, as much as we can get away with on YouTube. But I'll leave you with that, brothers and sisters, and just say, may God bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless. <laughs>